I had some friends who heard about it somewhere and said to me, oh my God, they're finding a space where you can sit around and play with electronics all day. You've got to come along and see what it's like. And people were so excited about being able to come together and just play around with things that interested them. People come together to do anything that interests them. Generally they're about electronics, technology and computers. You have to be crazy about something, you have to be really passionate about some particular area that you know more about than anybody else you know. And when you come to Hackerspaces, any Hackerspace in the world, you're among friends. You're more than welcome to share your nerdity and everybody will love it. But there's hundreds of these around the world and we had yet to have one in Sydney. We started off in a pub and ended up in a park in Wynyard where we had about, uh, about 70 people. Somebody brought a soldering iron to donate to the project. We didn't even have a, a house at that point. In my group of friends, I don't really know that many people that are into electronics or building things like that. So it's good to be somewhere where there's lots of people that are experts in different fields and you can just ask them and it, it just makes it so much quicker and easier when you're just trying to get something built. Always, always been interested in, in. I've always been interested in tinkering. Um, there wasn't one particular moment. Um, I think when I was ten, I made, I turned a slinky and uh, some string and some blue tack and some sticky tape into a, an automatic door opener for my room, so you could. <laughs> I wouldn't have to push the door; it would sort of open by itself. And it didn't really save me a lot of time, but you know, it was fun to work on. Yeah. And I remember making with my older brother. We actually made a tape recorder. We were actually able to record things on it and play them back. It was pretty amazing. So I actually had no idea what I was doing at the time, but, but you know, you've got to start somewhere. We have people talking about, or we have someone who built a MakerBot, which is a 3D printer. You put in a plan and it prints things in plastic in 3D. Actually, it takes in um, ABS filament and heats it up and extrudes it through a nozzle and you end up with parts like this. Well, a guy in America used a MakerBot to print an engagement ring for his girlfriend using two different kinds of plastic. Uh, it goes around the, engage the ring finger and it has a little plastic diamond in it. Because she's awesome, she said yes. <laughs> so, hacker's face is a much more romantic thing you think they'd be. Why is he saying no, that? We were both it at the first meeting. Centric. We've known each other for a couple of years um, and got together not long after the Hacker Space started. But it wasn't just because of the Hacker Space, and it's not just because he knows how to use a MakerBot. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd be really, I'd be really insulted if you proposed to me with a, a MakerBot ring that somebody else designed. I would at least yeah. want you to put in an effort and done design it yourself. On the weekend I come here and I basically interact with other people and that's what I really enjoy about this, the community atmosphere, um, especially because I work at home a lot of the time on stuff myself, coming here and working with other people, seeing what they're doing, giving them suggestions about how to, how to do things and just being inspired by other people, it's great. There's a lot of things I'd like to build that I don't, I don't even come close to knowing enough about never written any software or any of that programming side of it and there's heaps of programming people here and people like Keen and Gav who have done a lot of both. It's very much about uh, pooling knowledge together so that everyone can benefit and everyone can learn about things. Learning I think is the driving 
force behind a hacker space, understanding how anything works, looking at projects that other people have done, coming together to share the knowledge that we have. The biggest benefit of the hacker space is not the actual space itself, although that's really cool, it's the community. I could be sitting at home in my room soldering, soldering something, or I could be talking to people, talking to people who are passionate, talking to people who have ideas, and I can be improving my own knowledge and uh, getting ideas for new projects from other people who think, think like I do. I think if you went to any hackerspace in the world, they'd welcome you with open arms.